Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, David, for those kind words, and Reed for those um, very kind words. I'm always worried when Reed is introducing me, because we go back a long way. <laughs> when we met, we were both single, and so he's got stories that I, I, I you know, I just, I, I worry, I constantly, constantly worry about, and he's irreverent, he's inappropriate, and so I always, <laughs> so we got through another one, oh, oh, okay. Do you guys know my girl? <laughs> Let's go. I got. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> President did that after the, at the Apollo and sang uh, an Al Green song, and I figure if you know one black guy in the administration can pull it off, let's not press our luck. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could do it. Okay. <laughs> And maybe, <laughs> uh, but it is a, a pleasure for me to be here uh, tonight and to see, in essence, what is a, uh, a dream realized. Um, and as Reed was saying, you know, we used to go to Oak Hill to, to tutor. And we came back from Oak Hill always with that thought that um, there were kids there who had that spark, that thing that we always want to see in children, that desire to improve themselves, to learn. Um, but we also saw facilities and a, a process that was not designed to bring out the best in those kids. And Reed had this idea, you know, let's try to do something about this. Let's do something formal here. Um, that idea morphed into a dream. Um, and that dream was made real by James and by David. Uh, and the lives of hundreds of kids have been made better. And Heather is doing a wonderful job with, um, you know, they're the dream keepers and um, uh, the keepers of the flame. And I, I think that we need to give a round of applause to not only the founders, James, David, and Reed, but the people who are keeping that dream alive and who are having such a positive impact on the lives of kids today. So to you all, congratulations. <laughs> You know, and I think that um, we tend to, as we should, focus on the lives of the kids, who's, um, of kids who have had a, a better shot, whose lives are, are better. But the reality is that our community is made better by this work. Um, our city's made better. Our states are made better. Our nation is made better because we care about these kids. Um, you know, people often say it's about second chances, and I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that. I think it's really about um, releasing untapped potential um, in every child, um, because I think there is the prospect for, in every kid, uh, accomplishment, contribution, and, um, and change. And I think the question really is, why, as a society, um, aren't we doing this more? You know, what are we going to do as a society for those who are you know, we always say it, kids are our future, but that is, in fact, the truth. These kids are our future. Um, will we do that which we know is effective, the kinds of things that are being done by uh, See Forever, Maya Angelou School, um, or will we do the things that we know to be ineffective, where we just warehouse kids, um, we incarcerate them, um, and we tend to just forget them? We know that doesn't work. And we know that leads to all kinds of negative outcomes, the unnecessary expenditure of money. And at base, it is morally, it's morally wrong. Um, I think we have to deal with these issues that confront us in ways that we never have as a nation, deal with the social dysfunction that tends to um, breed the kinds of issues that these kids are, are, are dealing with. I mean, it's not a coincidence, I think, that we see the greatest amount of crime where we see the greatest amount of social dysfunction, where schools do not educate, uh, where we see high rates of unemployment, and where we see, in large part because of government policies that have been put in place, families that are, uh, are, are separated for a variety of reasons. Um, all efforts to fix these, I think, long-standing issues have to be supported. And among those things that must be supported is this organization. So that's my commercial. Um, come up with ways in which you dig into your checkbooks, 
I, this whole thing with the, I've now seen with the, your, your phones and all of that stuff. Um, that worries me a little bit, oh, but I guess it must be okay, you know. <laughs> we had cyber concerns when I was Attorney General, but I'm sure, I'm sure this is fine. Um, but, you know, come up with ways in which we, uh, we support C Forever. This is an organization that has a, a proven record of success. I mean, it's not a concept, you know, where, where it was when Reed and I went to, uh, to Oak Hill, the thought that this was something that might happen. This is not a concept. This is a record that can be pointed to. The accomplishments of this organization are, are tangible. And you see that in the young people who are here today with us and who are in various parts of this country and whose lives have been changed and who are making a positive contribution and will make positive contributions in the years to come. I'm very proud of my connection to uh, C Forever. And I only regret that there are not efforts like this um, going on in other parts of the country. Though I've had the chance to talk to uh, a young man here who's doing similar kinds of things in other parts of, of the country. And it's good to know that these ideas are, 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 are spreading. Um, it's because it's not enough to just laud what's going on at Sea Forever as, as, a, as a novel effort. This should be the norm in every city in this country. Um, <laughs> And it has to be replicated because the reality is that the issues that our children are facing here in Washington, D.C. are the same kinds of issues that kids are facing all over this nation. And unless we deal with those issues, unless we help those children, we cannot hope to have the kind of society that we always say we want to be. If this is truly an exceptional nation, and I believe that it is, um, we judge how exceptional we are by how we treat um, those children who are in need, those children who have not gotten all the benefits to which they are entitled as American citizens, as American citizens. And we're not talking about black kids, we're not talking about Hispanic kids, we're not talking about poor kids, we're not talking about kids on the margins, we're talking about American kids, American kids. And unless we have that as the driver for the policies that we put in place, we're never going to make the kinds of changes that I think we have to. So um, as I said, I want to thank you all very much for the recognition that you've given me, for the kind words that uh, were shared. Uh, and again, Reed, thank you for not going, going there. Um, I accept this award, um, but I urge all of you here tonight to find ways to support, again, this great organization and to find additional ways uh, to broaden the impact of, of the approach that uh, this organization really embodies so that other parts of our, our future can find uh, the nurturing and the support that will ensure a better future for our children, for the kids, and a better future ultimately for um, our nation. This, I think, in some ways can be thought of a, as a selfish thing. You know, our lives, our lives can be made better if we um, will do something to make the lives uh, of these children better. So if we don't do it for them, and we will and we should, um, we can always think about the nation that we are creating that will be better uh, for us as well. So dig into your pockets, uh, dig into your hearts, um, find ways to stay involved in this process. I know we're all busy, we all have things that tug at us, but I guarantee you, as Reed and I found when we used to go out to, um, to Oak Hill, which was a difficult thing to do, both to get out there, to get in there, uh, to find time to do it, um, at the end of a week, when you could look back on you know, doing your job and ha think about that hour, two hours, three hours, whatever it was, where you were doing something positive for, um, for a kid, uh, it, it made the week worthwhile. It made, uh, it made you feel good about who you are and what it is that you did. And if we all do that individually, the collective impact of that uh, will change this nation for the better. Thank you all very much. Thank you.